Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan. Oh. Uh, today we are continuing to clear out my journal here of just all the quests in existence. And we're starting here in solitude. There's a fucking ton of them. Oh my god. I totally forgot. I haven't played this in a while, but it's going to be a fun time for sure. Okay, well, let's start with this one right in front of us here. There's one back there. Oh, hello. I wonder who this could be. Ah, oh, the guard captain? Are you the guard captain? Yes. You're that mage from the college, right? Here things have finally calmed down over there. Have they? Uh, you are presiding over the execution. Captain Angela sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. Uh, I will persuade you. I think Angela needs to know. I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. The daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Okay, that's it. I just need to tell her her daughter's dead. Come on, Jonathan, we've got adventure! Actually, let's... Let's actually go in here and see who we need to talk to, because this is the... Oh, it's a temple. Okay, not what I thought. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook? I have no fucking clue what you're talking about, lady. Thank you, have a good day. Who do I need to talk to in this... place? No one. Enchanted chest. Seems to be no way to unlock this chest, and no matter how push you, how much you push and prod, uh, it doesn't open. Okay. Let us walk in the steps of the cool. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh, look, I can pray to each one of these fucking people. Except for Talos, I'm guessing. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let me see if I can get a bead on... Find the Sword of the Crusader. Was that at the top? Sword of the Crusader. Okay, so I need a bunch of shit. I'm guessing I have to find everything... And, like, the ring will be the key to the chest of the sword and blah... Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I think there's something to do outside. <laughs> May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Okay. Summers. Well, okay. I guess we will try. So let me. Ah, uh, should I stop it? Oh, it says report to the guard captain. Still. You couldn't possibly be the dragon. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. So you think he was on the right? Or how could you execute a fine and honorable man? No, I think he was entirely wrong. Rogvir's execution was justified and necessary. Being honorable might make you a good man, but it doesn't make you right. Be a better world if it did. How goes the training? The could be steadier, but they're battle ready. Even if the battle is with a dragon? Okay, I mean, we saw last episode how much they kicked ass. I can but hone their skills and harden their hearts. The rest is up to the gods. Okay. Divines watch over you. Guess I don't need to talk to you for anything. Well, let's head into town. Gotta find... There's plenty to do over here, apparently. Excuse me. Ah, let's see what's in here. Uh, can I check the map to see what's in here? Ah, okay. I'm here to tell her her daughter died. Cool, 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 cool. Feel free to look around. We have a fine selection of herbs here at Adjun's Aromatic. 
now I don't want to have a bummer of an episode, but uh wouldn't you got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Your daughter's straight up dead, dude. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Okay. Cool. I bet her daughter's alive, and we just took the fucking stupid way out of the quest. Proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. Well, thank you. I don't care, though. Next. Okay. It seems like that's all. Out oh! Hello, cat vegetable. You beautiful bastard. Welcome home. Um. Hmm. So are those the only two I had to do here? No. There's a ton more stuff. Why isn't it showing me on my mini-map? That's weird. Huh. Well, let's see. Let's mark them then with our little... Can I not make... I can't make... Custom markers. Okay. Uh, tell Everett that Verdin agreed to the, for the shipment. Is it this lady? Evan. Mm, spice wine for you. It's a East Empire recipe. Company is sending you... Sending up your spices. Thank you so much. I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. You're welcome. Good luck okay. Now I check the mini map again. I need to confront Jarira. I bet that's that Argonian I saw earlier. This guy? I believe you know what needs to be done. Something about putting out a fire. Damn Stormcloak rebels. Okay. It'd be the best if we spoke little until you've completed. Okay, well I guess I can't confront him. Uh collect Alfilda's hunting bow from Fuck me, where the hell are these people? Okay, I straight up heard him. But where is he? Oh, is this you? Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Uh huh. Here for the delivery job you posted. Cool. Deliver the bow by the 11th of Morningstar. Fuck me, dude. I didn't know any of these had time limits. That really sucks. Return anytime you need arms. Or okay. Arms. Well. Castle door. Collect Arthur's letter to Boltron. Report Jari to the guard captain. I should be able to do that, right? What could it mean? The return of the dragon ball? Maybe you can help me. It's all in this note. Just bring it back. Okay. Okay, well that's not my men in your prayers. They'll need them if they don't shape up. God damn it, that's not what I wanted. I wanted less quests. Oh well. What does this say? Uh, let's go to... It'll be under books. Shipment notice. From Dragon Bridge. Okay. Seems simple enough. And then, can I add that to the list of bullshit? Sure can. Maybe there is too many, and, like, I just can't... do anything with that. Huh. Oh well. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's actually go out and do some stuff outside of town here. Okay. 
We've got a ton of stuff going on here. Let us follow the coast. And I guess we put out the fire? Because we can't report him to the freaking guard captain for some reason. Unless I have to read a letter first, but I think I've read all the letters in my possession. He probably didn't give me one. Looks like it. Oh, fast healing. I'll use that. Forgot I got that, honestly. Cool. Well, fuck it. We're burning down a boat. So let's go here. Okay, maybe not burning down a boat, but we certainly are going to burn a lighthouse to crash a boat. So let's see. Here's the lighthouse. Here we are. Oh, hello. Who, who are you? By the divine. You're here for me, aren't you? I swear I tried. I, I was going to do it. Please don't hurt me. Easy young man, what's the problem? He's clearly not young. Uh, <laughs> what are we waiting for? Do it. Whatever it is you're supposed to do, you'll pay if you don't... Uh, what's the problem? So, you aren't here to kill me. <laughs> thank the divine. Tell me what happened. Jerry Ra sent me here. He wanted me to extinguish the fire in the lighthouse. I don't know why I said yes. We used to be friends. At least, I thought so. Then he started having me do things. Things I regretted later. What sort of things? Started out with just stealing. I would walk into the store and Shari Ra would distract the shopkeep and I'd stuff anything I could into my tunic. I still remember that first time. I was so scared. We were in Radiant Raiment and Jari Ra was trying on clothes a Jarl couldn't afford. There was a circlet on the counter. Gold and emerald. And Dari never even noticed when I switched it with the copper one I was wearing. I felt horrible afterward, but Jari Ra always found a way to make it seem okay. Those haughty knife ears got what they deserved, he said. And when we went drinking at the inn to celebrate, Jari Ra would pat me on the back and... Knife ears, what a slur. Uh, <laughs> what made you do it? You didn't want the circle, you wanted a friend. Used you, some people do that. Stealing is not a crime when the target deserves it. Jesus. You just wanted a friend. Mazaka said the same thing. Looking back, you're both right. I hated stealing. But when Jari Ra gave his toast, everyone would smile and salute me. It was the camaraderie that I wanted. The feeling that I belong. How did he recruit I was you? At the skeever when Jari Ra came by with his marauder friends. The ones that make me nervous. But Jari Ra put his arm around my shoulder and must my hair with those coarse fingers of his. That always puts me at ease. Then he tells me about this new Weird. plan of his. He says he needs me. That nobody can do it but me. I think one of his gang snickered. But Jari Ra told him to shut his mouth. And that made me feel good. What was the plan? The plan was to extinguish the flame at the lighthouse. Yeah, so we got that. Would lose sight of the docks and crash. I didn't want to do it. Stealing is one thing, but killing a man? But Jari Ra assured me no one would die. He said they'd thank us for rescuing them. And I believed him. Uh... <laughs> I've been asked to do the same thing, but I don't actually trust him. Please, I implore you, reconsider. I should know, I almost made the same mistake. Okay. Uh. Ever feel guilty about your crimes? I'm not proud of the things I did. But it's. It's Jari Ra's fault. He used me. I would have never been in that situation if it weren't for him. Ever the coward still blaming instead of owning up your part? Uh. I myself like to blame others for crimes. I agree, it was a horrendous thing to take adventure advantage of your weaknesses. I'm gonna do that one. I appreciate you seeing the whole picture. Some would not absolve me of my crimes, 
even after knowing how I was manipulated. The truth is, I never had many friends growing up. People who genuinely cared about me. When you go to a tavern, they have stools and tables. I always opted for the stool. It's hard sometimes, drinking alone. Especially when so many are in the company of friends. I used to hate the way they laughed. Jerry Ra noticed too. Said they barked like hounds. That's how we met. Suddenly, I was the one sitting at the tables, drinking in good cheer, laughing. <laughs> it, it turns out I laughed like a mammoth grunts. It's funny, but even now I look back on those times fondly. I might have been a fool, but I don't see how I had any other choice. Not in a tavern. I needed to come here. But how could I have known that? I would have never guessed that an old Khajiit lighthouse keeper would become my best friend. Huh. Do you attend the lighthouse now? Officially. But I assist Mizaka any way I can. In exchange for room and board. If he were to pass on, perhaps he might recommend me for the job. Or maybe I could tend to the lighthouse in Dawnstar. I don't know if I've earned the right to be the keeper here. There's still so much I need to atone for. Um, you make a fine keeper. Just remember who your friends Thank are. You for your kind words. May the divines keep the flame of righteousness alive in both our hearts. Cool. So, maybe if I talk to the Khajiit up here, he's not up here. Don't want to do that. Um. Yeah, I'm going to find this Khajiit and maybe... Holy shit, this is hurting my eyes. Um, maybe then... We can report him? It's kind of weird that it won't let me report him. Maybe I already went too far into the quest and they think that I'm actually... Well, too late to turn back now. Oh my, old Majaka is a visitor. Yeah? You gonna talk to him? This one needs something? Hmm? Yeah, this, yes? Hmm? Guess not. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna put this... Oh, I have that on me. Okay. Or that was stolen? I don't know. Regardless, we're not gonna be doing the lighthouse we're just gonna leave it be i guess i don't know if that's a glitch or if i fuck something up or what but if you know let me know who knows for now we're gonna skip that and head to yeah see it wants me to report him oh well uh we do have the bird's eye down here that we need to go to so I'm going to go over here, and we're just going to follow the coast there for a bit. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I remember now. That cave of people. Damn, it's dark. I'm going to wait until daytime so we can see more of the morning light. Maybe. Yes. Cool. Oh, yeah, I can see for miles now. Absolutely. So, I'm thinking that looks cool. Not where I need to go. I think that's actually where I need to go up there. These damn rabbits running on water. They're everywhere. Oh, this is a road. Okay. I was wondering if I needed to go up more because it looks like, yeah, it looks like it is this big tower right here. So I might have to find a way up there unless I go to this shrine and follow the road back down here and I can discover whatever that is. But uh, we'll try that. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, I've actually never seen that symbol before what the hell is that i hear this nern root 
That's gonna hurt me, ain't it? No, I can't lock onto him. I hear this freaking Nern root. It's like right next to me. I swear to God. There you are. Please? There it is. Okay. Oh, I can't lock onto you. Okay. Now, what the hell is this? Hollow discovered. Interesting. Have to check that out some other time. Ooh, shipwreck. With some bandits. Cool. Easy pickings. I just wanted to discover this place and move along. I actually travel faster in the water. I forgot about that. Maybe I'll just swim my way down here. Yeah, I don't think this is working. I am going to have to go by the uh, shrine here, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I was right. I did need to head to the top of the mountain and then come down here by the road. So, unfortunate I wasted a lot of my time, but I didn't waste any of yours, viewer. <laughs> Okay, I still might have. Hold on. Okay, it's this way. There it is. Now, horsey. Go away. Hello, gentlemen. Have a fine day. This is none of your Google business. Be on your way. Okay. Weird. Anyway. There's the tower. Uh, doesn't seem like... What exactly was I doing here? Uh, map. Investigate it. Clear out the burrow. So the burrow down there is what I need to do, but I guess I need to get on the top of this. Apparently, there's something I needed to investigate here. Ah! Burnt corpse? Fuck yeah, books, baby! Damn it, I'm carrying too much. Unfortunate. That won't stop me from taking shit, though. Okay. Well. Let's get our spells here. Stash supplies. Stash materials. Apparently that worked. And apparently there's someone outside I need to kill. Oh. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you? I can't believe you didn't kill this. Oh, what is this? The robe. When you fall below 25% health, 39% chance to release an explosion. 
That's cool. Are you guys okay? You seem pretty good. Move along. Apparently. Okay, well, there's clearly like a necromancer here or something. Oh, I just fell out the window. Excellent. <laughs> Weird. I was just trying to look up to see if I saw what I was looking for here. Bandit mage. Take those. Cool texture. Hall. Oh. It's almost like someone knew someone was going to come and investigate. Jesus Christ. Well. There's a vampire here. Arctic Blast sounds cool. I've already read that, and I have it in the museum. Uh, can this unlock an expert? I don't even think so. Well, here we go. No fucking shit, I got it. Damn. Cool. A lot of fake money there. I think we still need to go up and up and up and up more. Jesus Christ, there was so much shit here. I'll take all that. That's fine. Okay. Weird. But fine. Who are you? Lieutenant. Do I have the Orcish Claws? I do. Uh, you know, I will take that superior... Order Staff. But okay. Sit and chair. You in the chair. Don't get up. I swear on the gods, I will push you over if you do. Oh no, you're getting up, aren't you? Money. I will pay you money to stay in the chair. And those people down there. I, I never liked them anyway. I'm happy they're dead. Please just don't hurt me. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll get up. Who the fuck are you? Why is this happening? All I ever wanted was to learn a little magic. Maybe smite a few enemies. It's happening because you chose the wicked... Uh, to convert with the wicked. Okay. Relax, I didn't kill your friends. We have much in common. Smiting one's enemy is a noble pursuit. Come with me, girl. I'll teach you everything I know. Uh, shit. You do that, but why? You're not a slaver, are you? By the crone, you are. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Run. Bitch. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a thing, but never mind. Cool. Anyway, now that that's all taken care of, <laughs> I think next we're going to go down and we're going to do, uh... You're still here. Well, I didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. I'll have you know I'm no ordinary witch. Have you ever seen a Dremora Lord? Well, uh, his name is Gravas. He's a great killer. Don't believe me? Then feast your eyes on this. Hello, sir. See, I told you that's a Dramora Lord in the flesh. Leave before I sick him on you. Uh, your Dramora seems rather docile. I've been trying to leave, but you're standing in the doorway. Please do not harm. Please don't do that. I mean, no harm. Uh. 
Let's humor her for a bit. Here to hurt me, but you're so scary. Then again, so is this Dromora, and he's completely useless. How are you able to summon this Daedra? The Daedra won't listen to you, to your commands. What is this place? Uh, he won't listen to you. I ask him to fight. All he does is wave his stupid tankard around. It's like he's not even here. How are you able to do it? heard only Master Conjurus can do it, but there was this peddler named Sam, and he sold me a tome. He said it was a special book made for novices. Can't tell you how excited I was when it actually worked, but then I tried to command him. I should have known it was too good to be true. What is this place? They call it the bird's eye. Some say it's because it touches the sky. Others say it's because it's infested with hags. But you saw it. Mother Aegis is dead. All my sisters do. Which means I'll probably never become a matriarch. Are you saying you wanted to be a hag her her no, not. I mean, you can hag be mothers, right? Then <laughs> why would I want to be one? No way, not me. I'm just a regular old student from the College of Windhelm. On her way back home. I'm just curious. You can tell me the truth. I don't like being lied to. So you do want to be a hag. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious. You oh. can tell me. Well, in that case, maybe I do. But only because they're extremely powerful. It's not like I, you know, want to look like a faultier. <laughs> really. Is there any way I can help? Really? You do that for me? What? We, we just met. Oh, gods, I didn't just talk you out of it, did I? Because there really might be a way, even without Mother Aegis. It's incredibly risky, and you might have to get your hands dirty. What does the ritual require? It requires ingredients. Well, not really ingredients, as in feathers and plants. I don't want to scare you, but I need organs, and I need them fresh. Real fresh, as in ripped out from the body. <sighs> so you need live bodies to perform a vivisection? Uh, sure, that's not a problem, so long as it's a wild goat or some chicken. Yeah, about that. I actually need organs from living people. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be people you like. Uh, what? Is this a whole fucking thing? Uh, what about the Spriggan? Taproot is a key source of all magical energy. Oh, there's going to be Taproot in a cauldron and a lot of other ingredients. But that's not what I need to finish the brew. I need people. I know that sounds wicked, but there's no other choice. You understand, don't you? There's a certain Argonian that I would like to tell you about <laughs> named Jari Ra. That could be interesting. Uh, what about the ritual itself? How do the organs help with the transformation? As I understand it, they're simply part of the sacrifice. Mother Egg is used to say, the old gods grow strong on the fat of live souls. It's nothing personal. It's just the way it is. But to answer your question, the gods do all the work. The sacrifices are just, well, a bribe. Interesting. Can we straight up turn this girl into one of those? Living organs are like soul gem fragments. They have lingering echoes of the soul. That's the difference between a beating heart and a still one, even if it's in a jar. You can even make a heart beat for hours outside the body. With the jars filled with a special solution. Void salt, a torque bark thorax, and a drop of lemon juice is all you need. But I prefer we find bodies who live nearby. Uh, don't worry, I'll help you. Just what organs do you need to need in shoes? This is something I cannot condone or allow. Neither can I. I was I was just testing you. Good <laughs> <laughs> for you. I'll just be in the tower, not performing witchcraft. 
Wonderful. You have a good day, ma'am. Sir, take care of her, I guess. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, let me talk to her again to see if I can still activate the prompt to help her. I can. I don't want to scare you, but I need organ. Oh, gods, no. I can't stomach all the blood. But there might be another way to remove the body parts without needles or sutures. You do realize we're talking about people, right? I mean, I need goat heads too, but we have plenty here already. Wow. You know what? Fuck it. Great. I mean, I'm all about knowledge right now. They live in a small cottage west of here, across from Lost Echo Cave. There's something about them I don't like. Something off. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure they're nice people once you get to know them, but not nice enough that I'd feel guilty about harvesting their organs. <laughs> I need the father's liver, the mother's toes, and the child's heart. If you do this for me, I'll pay you in gold. No, better than gold. I've got a special reward for you. You'll see. <sighs> well... Fuck, I'm down. Birds of a feather. Huh. Where is this cottage at? Son of a bitch. Is it that one? No. That one? Oh. I need to go there for that. Well, shit. It's a good thing I saw that. I did wait that day. That entire day. Yikes. Okay, now where is this guy that I need to deliver his bow? Son of a bitch, I can't see the marker. It says it's right next to me. <laughs> but which one, damn it? Is it one of y'all? Is it you? Oh! Yes, I have a weapon for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Took a second. Yo, 50 bucks. That's not worth the stress. Thank you. Have a good day. Um, so we do have to go into this thing there. You still have to pick up this item here. Oh, okay. Got stuff to do there. We got stuff all the way over here. All the way in Markarth. Damn, dude. Hell yeah. Got a lot of shit going on. I'm going to look up this quest about confronting Jari to the captain. And see if there's something I'm missing. But I think I'm going to call it there. Next time I think we're going to we're gonna go down to this lower bear. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go now. So indecisive. And here we are. So next time we're going to be heading into this cave. Oh! The fat boys. Hi, fat boys. Goodbye, fat boys. Oh, fat boy lived. I'm sorry. Oh, he looked like he was running away. Oh, I feel terrible. But the night sky is so beautiful. <laughs>